subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hey what's up people out there this is me Ashish Johan from Ashish Creation welcome back to our new youtube video now today in this video i'm gonna show you how to create a you know like a trending moody instagram photo like reflection of the uh, glass coming from outside like for a manipulation in photoshop before getting to the photoshop just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos like this and if you still haven't subscribed the channel then do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever i post new video and log on to our website that is www.asylcreations.com from there you can find new background preset camera preset lightroom preset loads png and every kind of photo editing stuff for free so go and check it out that website now let's jump to the photoshop and don't forget to follow me on instagram that's all on the photoshop Open the photoshop and open the photo which you want to get edited. Now let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool from here. Just click on this quick selection tool and just click on the plus icon. Just roll all, all over the subject's body to make it selected. Now just click on this minus icon to reselect this portion. Here if you want to select the hands then we are gonna use the same technique which we every time use. Just right click on it and select. Uh, select and mask option in photoshop cc just click on the second tool click on the plus icon and just uh, roll on on the edges of the subject only the edges of the subject you have to roll on the hairs now just press ok to make the selection just right click on it and select the clever copy option or you can directly press ctrl j from the keyboard so here you can see we have made a duplication of our layer. Now let's add the background in the photograph. So we'll go to the file, click on open and let's just browse the background. Just drag and drop over here. Now just press the Ctrl T from the keyboard. Here by pressing Ctrl T your photo background would be enlarged and just uh, you know keep the position in the perfect okay, whichever you want you can just make the perspective so now I want this just press enter now just press the control from the keyboard and just left click of the mouse on this uh, background layer so that it will just select the our background area now just press the crop tool to crop it uh, crop that much you know now we'll just uh, increase the lightness of the face of the subject so we'll just go to the levels from the adjustment layer click on the below icon and just uh, move the slider from right to left to increase the lightness on the face of the subject So here you can see the before and after effect. The subject is really looking like a glowing photograph. Now we will just go to the filter, select uh, filter, then just select the blur, then just select the box blur from there. Make the box blur to around 30 percent only. And just press OK. Now all you're gonna do is just uh, go to the loots file. Let's go select the color lookup and just to select any of the loot file. I'll then select this loot file or this. Let's say this. I want to select everything mood plus gold. This all color lookup can be found from our website. You can download it from there for free. So let's decrease the opacity to around 50% of this loot file. 50 or 60% would be more than enough. So here we have given the loot, uh, you know, 
color look of preset now let's go to the filter file click on open and let's add the overlay of the window just drag it and drop over here and just press ctrl t from the keyboard or you can go to the edit and select free transform and just press shift and alt key from this uh, any of the corner to enlarge the subject or the image now let's go to the uh, sorry, blending mode and just select the screen from there again just press ctrl t to enlarge it now just press flip it horizontal and you can just keep this overlay somewhere over here now let's, let's press ctrl L on the keyboard just move the slider a little bit you can see the difference and just press ok so now it seems like an original window glass coming like you have captured from the window now before getting to the and just go to the hue and saturation tool and just click the red color from here skin tone and move the slider to around plus 2 or minus uh, plus 2 a little bit or plus 3 and increase the lightness a little bit of increase the saturation so here you can see the before and after effect the saturation has been increased a lot now let's just merge all the layers from here right click on it and select merge layers before merging to the layer let's just clean the face of the subject so we'll select the channel mixture brush from here just remove this uh, unhide this both layer now only only do the little bit of you know retouching on the face don't overdo the smudging otherwise it will look very unreal that we actually don't want Also let's do on the neck region also. Now let's do a dodge and burning process. Now just to select this face. Just right click on it and select fill. let's select this much area right click on it and fill select 50% gray just create a clipping mask change the blending mode to overlay press ctrl d from the keyboard now let's just select the dodge from here make the exposure to around 9%
now let's select the burn tool from here take the exposure to around 10% or 11 So here we have almost completed our process of dodging and burning. Just uh, unhide this both layer. So here you can see we have smoothened the skin of the subject. Let's just keep this overlays over here. Let's make the control T press control T and enlarge a little bit so now well, let's add the particles on this photograph so just open the verticals and just drag and drop over here press ctrl d to enlarge the background or the image press shift and alt key to enlarge in a perfect position way now change the blending mode to screen Now let's just delete some of the particles from here, so select the eraser tool and remove some unwanted particles. Also from the face region also you need to you know just delete it everything. Let's delete these big particles. and just press ok so here finally we have done our process of you know mo creating moody portrait yeah the Still one more thing is remaining, just merge both the layers and let's just make the blur of the edges of the subject so that it won't look uh, like an edited photograph. So just select the strength to around 60%, increase the size of the brush and select hard round brush and just make it blur. Just increase the strength to uh, 70%. Just blur the edges of the subject. Also, do the you know edge of the faces also because by blurring the you know edges that uh, your photo will look way more natural and realistic. It would be looking like you have captured from the camera. So we are every time blurring the edges of the subject when we usually cut out the image because we don't want to make you know it look uh, more unreal and you know artificial it should always look very realistic at like you have captured it from the camera so we are just blurring every time the edge of the subject
so here we have almost completed our process of you know making the blurring process make sure no part of the subject is remaining so here we have completed our process now let's just uh, open the eyes of this all the layers now just right click on it and just select the press shift color shift key and just right click on it and select uh, merge layer so it will just merge all the layers and again let's crop the image by using the crop tool and let's select if you want to create a square photograph for your instagram profile then you can also create a square photograph so for that we need to just increase the size but this would perfectly i think this would be perfectly fit on the you know instagram profile so no need to you know, worry just merge all the layers again just crop the image So here you can see the before and after effect. This is really looking very more, very much you know moody and it's like Instagram portraits. Well, if you guys have enjoyed the video, then just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos like this for you. And if you still haven't subscribed the channel, then do subscribe and just press the bell icon on this video. Then don't forget to you know follow me on Instagram and just you know check out our website that is www.aspircreations.com from there you can find the background camera preset lightroom preset and every kind of photo editing stuff for free so go and check it out that website well thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video